Last year, 2014. I see how it is. 2015, 16, 17. We out here. Ice. I'm Devin Nguyen, and I'm 20 years old, turning 21 soon. And uh, I've been like liking theater since about grade nine. I haven't really done much since like grade 12 plus, but yeah, I'm more of like a high school theater student. So the play I directed was called Tuna Fish Eulogy by Lindsay Price, and uh, for the first time in like Guelph history, uh, when I directed, we advanced to provincials. And it was pretty cool. The role for a director for me is sort of, it was like a journey figuring it out. When I first started, I thought a director was someone that just told everyone what to do and they had the perfect idea for how the show was gonna go. Actually doing it, I found out that's not how it works. It's kind of really hard to take that stand. Um, when I realized that, um, I thought about it and sort of like, my idea for a director really changed. It was more like, you start off a script and um, you read the script and it gives you a sort of direction, i.e. like director. And um, you have a direction, but you don't know like the filling in between. It's like a building, you know, like a frame. So you have like the, um, like, the, the, um, like the casework for it, right? But you have no idea what's gonna be in it, what's gonna be made of. And um, as a director, it's your job to fill in those gaps um, with, your, uh, with your cast and crew. Initially, um, it never really changed. This one thing, I always, I always had the idea of um, production value in my head. Uh, production value. I wanted to raise the production value of my my production to like a really high level. I wanted to include things that made it a really cool, unique show. Like constantly, when we were doing auditions and uh, rehearsals, I was thinking of what can I add to make the show just like pop, pop, pop. Alberts get all the way over here, and they're doing their final holy holy, and, and then it's gonna here. stop. The audience is gonna see, oh, the clock stopped. Like, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of like mistakes a director can make. Something like, um, an easy one is like not listening to ideas from your cast and crew, because they're basically your main source of ideas besides their own. They really help you with the show, because it's also their show too, you do it together. And, yeah, not listening to them is a huge mistake. A director shouldn't be scared of trying things. They should always like, if there's like an idea that might work out, they should just do it, you know? Try it, and it might work out. And if it doesn't, you just move on, try someone else. Advice I would have, uh, I would say um, a really important one is just, uh, I'll just go for it, you know? If, something, if there's something you wanna try or ideas you have, just do it. There's no point of just wasting time and like considering it. You might as well try it, see how it is and go for it, yeah. Shout outs, shout outs to Nathan, me and him, co-directing. We, we thought about this last year. We knew we wanted to direct, you know? So we did it, we did it. And look, we're out here, look. Design the sweater. We out here. We about to perform. Right before we were gonna go on stage, we were in our, um, our green room just getting ready. I stopped everyone, everyone was in a line, they were holding their props, whatnot, and I sort of like, just like, turned around, blocked everyone, and um, I gave a little speech, it was weird. I just sort of, I told everyone, um, I asked them, I was like, back in September, why did you come to my audition? Why did you audition for my play? Right? And I gave them a few seconds to think about it, to remember all the memories. And then um, I told them, uh, I know why. It was because they wanted to be a part of something. You know? They felt like they had something about them that could help make a show good and great and just beautiful.